We know teaching is a wonderful job. It's a privilege to spend time with lots of pupils in any school or college environment, but we also know it's very challenging and a demanding job. And uh, for the difference for teachers who work in toxic schools is that difficult times appear to have uh, no end with many seeing their only option is leaving. Um, so if we immerse ourselves in the world of the classroom and the experiences of those who work in them, it's crucial in understanding not only what effective teaching is for pupils, but also what kind of work environment is best for the staff who work in them. And the only way that we can achieve this is by hearing authentic voices of teachers who experience this world on a daily basis. Um, so here are eight characteristics of toxic schools. Um, Co-published in a great book uh, from uh, Dr. Helen Woodley's PhD research, uh, an ethnography of six teachers' voices of their experiences working in challenging schools. And um, these eight um, characteristics were all explained in greater depth. There's a resource, there's a little mini webinar, there's the book, of course, and there's lots of blogs. And although it's a topic we don't necessarily want to talk about, um, when, whenever I, uh, I, I shouldn't say reluctantly, because I also have a duty to speak up for all teachers, particularly teachers who don't have a voice. Um, and I'm always hesitant to because of my large platform. But when I do, I'm inundated with countless stories of teachers who are struggling. And I, of course, I don't know the full story. Uh, and I have to take their word for what they share with me uh, it, it, privately. But some of the stories are horrific. Um, so the aim of toxic schools, I suppose, is to highlight the impact uh, that negative teaching experiences can have on all our careers and the health and well-being of the people that we work for uh, or, or work with. And as a profession, we have to acknowledge the fact that there are teachers out there who struggle on a daily basis because of the teaching environment uh, that they work within um, is more challenging than perhaps other places. And as a teaching profession, we have the capacity to change the culture of all schools. And of course, those external forces, league tables, parents, Ofsted, all those types of things. And how we handle these changes uh, simply boil down to the leadership of the school and individual characteristics. And I guess school leaders out there, yes, we all, uh, you know, we all have a choice. Yes, we all have uh, certain things, that, factors that influence our decision making. You know, and there'll be a lot of external things that will also influence our choices. And yes, there's one or two bad egg teachers out there and one or two teachers that have lost their way or lost their love of teaching, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm reminded of a great quote um, from Dr. Tina Owen Moore, who published a book called The Alliance Way, the first bully-free school in America. And she said something I've never forgotten. Uh, when people don't take time to understand one another, there is more opportunity to do harm. And I think of all those incidents where perceptions, myths, bias, uh, where we make sweeping, sweeping accusations about other people, or we see this on Twitter, we don't like someone because of their personality or you know, how I present this video without really understanding the real person behind uh, the the kind of conversation, the behavior, the message, et cetera, et cetera. But in, in schools, we don't have a lot of time to sit beside one another and talk about teaching and learning, talk about appraisal, professional development needs, all the challenges that we all face. And I think that often stems with, you know, decisions of accountability and leadership that generate this kind of toxic school culture. Um, so, uh, so there you go. Eight characteristics of toxic school. I just thought I'd just share this as a kind of, uh, food for thought. you know, maybe just think about where you work. Uh, does your school show these characteristics? Does your team, do you work alongside, uh, you know, a bully or someone that shows these kind of hallmarks where they shout you down, your voice is not heard, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I'll leave it there. I just thought I would share a little mini clip. Uh, of these eight characteristics in this link you can find the resource the blog and the book uh, thanks for watching